Um, okay, so my topic is whether or not students with special needs should attend a public or a private high school. Um, so special needs is defined as particular educational requirements resulting from learning difficulties, physical disability, or emotional and behavioral difficulties. Um, although individuals with special needs may have been born with a syndrome, terminal illness, profound cognitive impairment, or a serious psychiatric problem, other individuals may have special needs that involve struggling with learning disabilities or developmental delays and still be under the same um, category. And some different types are um, Down syndrome, which is a congenital condition in which a child is born with a flattened skull and some degree of limitation of intellectual ability and social and practical skills. Um, autism, which is a neurological and developmental disorder that affects how people interact with others, communicate, learn, and behave. Um, and then behavioral disorders, which involve a pattern of disruptive behaviors in children that last for at least six months and cause serious problems in school at home and in social situations. And then intellectual disabilities, which is um, difficulty thinking and understanding. And some life skills that can be impacted include certain conceptual, social, and practical skills. Um, some schooling options are homeschool, private school, integrated classes in a public school, or just going to normal classes in a public school. Um, I'm going to focus on private schools um, versus integrated classes. And private schools are schools founded. We have them all over the U.S. Like they're specifically for special needs students, um, and they have special like um, teachers that have been educated on special needs students, and they have like a lot of teachers and adults there to provide one-on-one -on -one support. And then integrated classes um, are classes that have like all special needs students and then like a couple teachers and then peer tutors to help. But they also go to like other classes, like elective classes with peer tutors. And then they still have like passing periods and lunch and like places like just like a normal high school. Um, and then which is the program that we have at Brighton. And this is me with some of the kids here. Um, so private school. Um, some pros of a private school is it provides full-time specialized support. Um, they have educated teachers to provide one-on-one -on -one support and help the children learn what they need and help them where they need it. And then um, kids are less likely to feel out of place because they aren't, they don't have people to compare themselves with at like a high school because they're surrounded by children somewhere to themselves. Um, and the cons of a private school is they don't have learning or interactions with non-special needs students. Um, it lacks the social aspect and making friends with students that don't have special needs. Um, and then it can also be very expensive. Uh, you would have to pay a lot of money and it's like just to provide like schooling that you can um, have a, a normal high school for free, pretty much. Um, and then a public school. Some pros of a public school is the social life. They're able to have passing periods and peer tutors and make friends with students around the school. And then it just provides them with a normal high school experience. It makes them feel included and as though they're part of the normal high school. Um, they're able to take like elective classes and go out to lunch with friends or see people in passing periods. Um, and then they still get the help they need from teachers and tutors. They have like peer tutors who are able to give them support, just not the one-on-one -on -one help from um, like specific teachers. Um, and then cons, they don't get the one-on-one -on -one support from the educated teachers. Um, and it offers two different instruction methods, which could be challenging having the, um, the class with the special needs students and then like the elective classes led by just normal teachers in school and that could be hard. Um, so this is my buddy, Autumn. I'm a peer tutor for her, and I don't know her specific diagnosis, but she has troubles with like learning and reading and writing, and she has some, like a bit of mental part, but uh, I asked her if she could be in my presentation, and she wanted to make a little video for it, so it was like five seconds, but. That's her on Halloween. Um, so, yeah. Um, all right, so my opinion, I think the public high school is more beneficial 
for these students. Um, our great pros to both sides, but I think that the social aspect of a public high school gives the kids more of an opportunity to feel um, just included and welcome and like they're just like everyone else. Um, however, um, a lot of the kids, it will depend on their like specific um, disability, whether like the best way for them to learn. So yeah, and there's my art for the future.